Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another my episode of My Mini Movie Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new movie that came out recently, Disney's Disenchanted. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie. I don't know if you had the chance to see it. It's a Disney Plus original movie. Um, I feel like this is the first Disney Plus original movie that I've seen because I watch a lot of Disney Plus shows, um, all the Marvel special Disney Plus presentations I watch. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen a Disney Plus original movie before. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm wrong because I think Hocus Pocus 2 is Disney Plus original. I don't know. Anyways, um, a lot to talk about with this movie. Um, for the most part, I want to say that it was, it was kind of an enjoyable movie. Um, the first hour, I really could not get into it at all. Um, it's a two hour long movie. Personally, I think the pacing was very off. I feel like the first hour was just like expiratory stuff, expiratory stuff, expiratory stuff. And a lot of things that did not really need to be introduced and it, they, they kind of took a really long time to get the ball rolling with this. I feel like the inciting incident of the movie doesn't happen until 45 minutes into the movie, which is way too long. Considering it's a sequel, it's taking back where it's it's left off about 10, 15 years ago. I understand why they're like, let's take our time to reintroduce the characters. But I feel like for a movie that's a sequel, they spent way too long reintroducing the characters that we already knew and reestablishing rules that we already knew before about 40 minutes in is when she makes her wish that she's like, oh my god, I wish um, this was like a fairy tale world, and then everything changes, and um, a lot of the things about it just seems really, really off. So um, overall, I had a problem with the pacing. Um, I don't like the fact that a lot of the actresses in this movie are playing the same character they always play. Amy Adams is always like an over-acted um, character or whatever and in this movie she is exactly the same um my main problem that i had with this was the plot points i'm mean, not the plot points the plot holes of the fact that it's been 10 years since the first movie and she's still acting the exact same way as she does she did when she first got here and i kind of hate it because it's been 10 years she's living in the real world now one i don't understand why the the husband wouldn't be like trying to help her acclimate to living a normal life instead of still letting her live her fairy tale life. Like, I feel like after 10 years, he definitely would not still be like, yeah, you just keep being your little princess self or whatever. I feel like at some point they would have had to, you know, had some kind of talk and be like, hey, this is the real world. Maybe you should change a little bit because I hate the fact that there's a 10 year time gap. And in the 10 year time gap, she did not change as a character at all which is bullshit. You live in New York for 10 years. You're not still going to be super happy and optimistic and like, oh my God, I'm going to sing all the time. Somebody at some point would have crushed her spirit. And the fact that her character hasn't even changed a slight bit really pissed me off. I, I hate when time jumps do that when there's like a 10 year time jump, a five year time jump. Because if you look at someone at the beginning of the year and you look at that same person at the end of the year, there's going to be drastic changes, even in just a year. So for 10 years, the person did not change at all really annoyed me. I really didn't like that. Um, another thing is, um, I mentioned that a lot of the actresses, um, play the same character they always do. Um, uh, both of the side, ch side, um, kicks to the main actress, I mean, the main villain of this movie, um, in every movie they're ever in, they play the exact same person. They're very unnecessary characters. They didn't add anything to the story. They weren't funny. They weren't like, like they tried to be comic relief, but a lot of their jokes just did not land flat. And pretty much every single scene that it was just the two of them, feels like they did not they did not need it. I feel like they could have cut it out. It was a two hour long movie and there was a lot of things in the movie that felt so unnecessary. I understand this movie is for kids, right? But if you're gonna be making a sequel to something that was made for kids 10, 15 years ago, I feel like you should have a little bit more for the older audience who's wanting to watch it because, you know, oh my God, this was this thing that was popular when I was a kid and nostalgic purposes, I wanna see it now. I Like, I feel like it was too, aimed for little little kids because a lot of the comedy in it is stuff for little kids um the music i will say was really good i think that all the songs and musical numbers in this was relatively good but i just overall the story seemed like one they stole a bunch of things from disney which i understand you know they are disney they can do that but like they sang a, a song that literally said be our guest and in that same like song musical number they had literally singing like kitchen appliances and stuff like this and i was like okay they're trying they're trying to be um Beauty and the Beast which I actually didn't have a problem with that I thought that was kind of good and then the entire story basically becomes another Cinderella story which we've had like hundreds of throughout the years 
and I feel like they don't they, they don't do anything to distinguish it enough to make it an interesting Cinderella story which kind of brings it down as well because I like some of the stuff that they do after the big twist or whatever of it being like oh my god we're in a fairy tale land now right but at the same time a lot of the stuff that is happening is so unoriginal that it is painful and I hate it and I know that it's a sequel so I shouldn't really expect originality but at the same time I feel like this movie had a lot more potential than it took away from I mean than it actually like took up so um overall I did not like this movie I would definitely not watch it again I would definitely not recommend someone to watch it if you are like six years old and you want to go watch it go do that um, or, like, if you're, like, a parent and you have a six-year-old kid and, you know, I, I would recommend it for really young people. But I feel like if its target audience was to make a movie that people who enjoyed the movie 10 years ago, um, you know, if that was their target audience, they completely missed the mark with that. Um, but that being said, um, my final rating for this movie, I give it. This is the first movie that I'm ever ranking, giving it an F, but, um... I, I rated it a 41 out of 100. I, I did not like it. I really could not get into it at all. And it was like the most painful two hours of my existence. So I didn't like it. They had a couple of shining moments, but I feel like overall all the actors were terrible. Um, a lot of the actors and actresses overacted scenes that shouldn't have been overacted and then underacted on scenes that actually needed those higher emotions. And it just seemed very, very poorly directed and all the actors and actresses in it were relatively bad. But yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.